Hey Grace family, Ryan Fogelsong here, music director, and I'm here to celebrate and highlight one of our drummers, Louis Diaz. Louis, how long have you been playing here at Grace? Uh, I've been playing at Grace since uh, August, and I started coming to Grace uh, last year in July. When did you um, become a musician and why, why was it drums? So I became a musician probably when I was four or five. I grew up in a, a very musical family. My dad plays um, guitar and my mom sings. Growing up, one of my favorite musicians was Stevie Wonder. And I remember like, it was almost every morning I'd get up and I'd always want to listen to Stevie Wonder. My parents were like, yeah, you know, Stevie Wonder is, he's hes kind of like you where he, he can't see. I mean, he was born blind and you were too when you lost your sight, but they go, he plays almost all the musician, uh, uh, all the instruments on some of his stuff. Yeah. Like, so if you want to be a musician, like you can be like him. And I'm like, Stevie Wonder plays drums too. And I just know for being an instrumentalist, so much of it is visual and tactile and be able to match your instructor. So how did that work? So a lot of the way I learned was uh, just listening and playing by ear. Mm -hmm. uh, my uncle's a drummer um, and he's the one that got me into wanting to play drums. And as a kid, he would sit me on his lap and you know teach me different things. He would do the pedals, but he would show me how to do stuff with the sticks. Okay. Um, but as far as that, most of everything from um, there until about a year and a half ago was all self-taught. How has God used the challenge of blindness um, to grow you spiritually? Living as a blind person in a sighted world, you have to deal with a lot of a lot of people that don't have faith in what blind people are able to do. One of the biggest challenges in my life was getting a job. There were a lot of times where I just was like, why, why is it so hard? Like there's, there's part of me that questioned like, God, why did you allow me to become blind? Um, and so just knowing that his, his plans are always for the best, it was nice to know that God had some plan for me. And, mm -hmm. it, and it, it, was in his, it was not in his plan to have me working for some of the places I uh, applied to. So that's just one of many ways God's worked in my life, just you know, helping me deal with the negativity of the world against people who have quote unquote disabilities. Uh, I just want to share a little story, kind of funny, happened a few weeks ago. So we're in the amphitheater and um, we're going through rehearsal and we're at a point in the rehearsal where we needed to transition to the next song. We're thinking about how are we going to get to this in services. And so I look over to Micah Dixon and I'm like, Micah, just kind of give everybody a visual cue and, uh, and we'll go from there. And Micah just gives me like this puzzled look like this. I'm like, yeah, just a visual cue, it's gonna be helpful. And Louie from behind the drum kit just raises his hand and goes, yeah, that's not gonna work for me. And it was just, it was this great moment where he has been so patient with us as we're learning how to, how to serve him and as he serves us by playing drums on, on a week to week basis. I've always wanted to be able to serve the church and I've always had a passion for music. So I figured um, being able to play music was a, one option that I, I felt that I could use to serve, serve the church and serve God.